this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we check out uh, the 2020 Redwood 3951WB, a very nice and quite luxurious fifth wheel. The length of this unit is 42 feet 4 inches. Uh, the fresh water capacity 66 gallons. The gray 82 and the black water 44. This unit has two 30 pound LP tanks. It has a 65 inch television up front and a 39 uh, inch television in the uh, uh, bedroom area. Here's the layout. The bedroom's in the back and it's quite large. It has a restroom right next to it. In the middle is the uh, galley dining area and up front a super luxurious uh, lounge area. I saw this unit at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people ever. Here's where you can put some generator. If you don't want to put a generator there, you can put some other stuff. Why not? And that's the battery compartment. Don't forget you can leave your kind and friendly comments at any time. Uh, just below the description of this video. And of course, you can always contact the folks at uh, Explore USA or your local uh, dealership for questions. That's the Moride pin box up front. That's where you hook it up to your truck. And uh, there's a slide out mechanism. It says uh, various uh, types of slide out mechanism. That was a cable system and that's super strong. It has three slides on this side and two on the other. What do you think of the paint job? The black, the white, and the blue. It's very unique. Up front you can add a solar suitcase and on the roof they have already one uh, modest little you know, solar panel. You can always add more. It's up to you. It's all up to you and your budget and your motivation. They have again two 30 pound propane tanks, one on each side. Let me close that. They have a uh, front uh, pass through storage. This is a more modest one, but it's still significant. And they have a larger one way in the back. They have this panel on the left where you can uh, uh, hang things. And right there is where the plumbing uh, and uh, that's the electronics and various controls. So it's a significant area. I'd recommend reading your manual and learning all about what this uh, unit has to offer. And that's the uh, charge controller for the modest little solar panel up top. It's only in a uh, you know, PWM unit. It's not a pulse width modulated unit. It's not a, you know, MPPT multi point power tracking, which is a significant upgrade. I had problems uh, closing this door. I tried it several times. I came back a little bit later, even tried to close it. I had some issues. I guess I'm not good at closing these doors. Uh, that's the uh, plumbing system, the utility area, and you can control your leveling there and put your antenna there. And there's a whole water uh, filtration system and uh, you can winterize your unit simply just by following your instructions again follow your instructions and they have the key uh, antenna system that means uh, uh, it'll help you uh, get organized in regards to antennas uh, that are off the air satellite or your cable system so it makes sure everything works appropriately and is channeled to the right area there's a water heater and the air heater, so you got them both. That's always a positive, huh? Ooh, I would want to be somewhere with cold water on a cold day. I've been there. Here's another uh, slide mechanism. This is uh, a very robust slide mechanism, and there's the uh, propane cable. It's all so that's where how the oven <laughs> is. Uh, is uh, you know uh, the you know the propane goes to the oven. It's uh, through that little coil. Here's some information. Don't forget you can pause this video at any time, uh, you know, if you want to read the stuff and uh, get more information. And of course, some of the stuff that I saw on their website was very different from what I saw on the actual unit. So, uh, you know, I, you know, what can I say? This fifth wheel takes advantage of the Moride LRE 4100 uh, suspension system to uh, even out the bumps on the road. There's another slide out. And uh, some significant. This is the big storage uh, for this unit way back here. That's where you can uh, control your dumps, your gray and your black. And look at this storage. You can put quite a bit of stuff for you folks out there that are full timers. You can put all that unnecessary stuff that you'd like to carry along on your adventures right back here, or that you feel it's super important. 
and of course the plumbing and of course you can see the aluminum uh, you know framework that they use for this unit that keeps everything in, intact there's a 50 amp cord of course this is a 50 amp unit <laughs> not a 30 amp unit and there's the heated and closed underbelly the spare tire and the terminations for the uh, black and the gray and you can also see the uh, the leveling system So what do you think of this unit? I really like it. It's very luxurious. Once we get inside, you're going to be really impressed. Let's go up that ladder and check out the uh, top. There's the uh, skylight and there's the fan. Some of the exhaust. This unit, of course, has three AC units. And right there where I'm pointing is a you know, modest little solar panel. And of course, you can add a ton more. This is where you can add a bike rack or some small, uh, you know, rack of some type but not too big it doesn't hold a lot of weight the front and the back have very nice end caps and that's appreciated keeping out uh, the rain and uh, minimizing rain damage on this side of course you have two slide outs and uh, you know jealousy windows uh, nicely tended here's some information about the you know warranty and the wine guard connect system of course you can contact your local dealership uh, to ask any questions on this matter or you can contact the manufacturer direct they usually answer questions there's the more ride steps keeping things nice and uh, even when you enter and exit it won't cause the unit to jostle and again this is the redwood 3951 wb of course redwood makes all kinds of fifth wheel i do like this little handle it's nice and soft little foamy handle Here's where you can connect some alternating current uh, if you want to put a griddle outside or some uh, other device. I don't like these uh, <laughs> latches. They have a weird mishmash of latches. Slam latches and these twisty latches. I wish they would just uh, make them all slam latches. Keep it simple for us simple folks there. Open the door and down there is where you have, uh, I think you control uh, the hydraulics. It's your hydraulic system, I think. Again, another question for your dealership or the folks at Explore USA RV Super Center. To the left is some antennas, uh, connections, and some electronics and the head unit for the audio. And uh, to the right is the in-command system. And beyond that is the manifold for the, uh, for the uh, water system. So it's all, you know, easily sequestered here. And you can access it and then you can read your manual and go, hmm, I need to pull this to make this work if uh, this isn't working, etc., etc. And of course you have that wall there where you can put little baskets of stuff, odds and ends, and uh, organize your, your life on this beautiful fifth wheel. Here's the other 30-pound propane tank. Uh, the slam latches on this unit are, have this plastic cover. I, I guess they use plastic just to save weight. I guess you don't really need metal, but that's a, it's riveted in place. Another shot of the Moride uh, pin box in the front of this unit. What do you think of this unit so far? We're going to go right inside right now. We're gonna just going to jump right in. Here we go. As you come in the door, uh, to the right is the control system for the lights, the uh, alternate, you know, the, uh, you know, the AC, the heater, etc. And I had to slip my little finger here to control <laughs> here. It took me a while to figure that out. Other controls are also in there. One of the big selling points are these beautiful, beautiful countertops. And uh, what do you think of the dark wood? Do you like this dark wood? It has an oversized sink here, and in the back they have a little bar sink. I call it a bar sink. If, you know, you don't have to drink alcohol to call it a bar sink. And it has its own little faucet, and again, those beautiful countertops. Very thick countertops. So you have some storage to the left, and uh, let me open that up right now. You can see some, some of the plumbing back there. Nice little storage area. And to the right, you can uh, sequester your beverages, be they Diet Coke, wine, or beer, whatever you want. Uh, juice, you can put it all in there. And of course, these again are thick countertops. That's one of the big selling points. One of the salesmen called them uh, waterfall countertops. There are the controls for the Max Air fan, uh, some alternating current, and your lights. Let me pan up, and it should brighten up a little bit in a second here. Here we go. The camera's finally cooperating. You have two layers of uh, storage right there next to this bar area. I'm going to call it the bar area. You can call it whatever you want. 
storage on the left, storage on the right, and that's a lot of storage. And a little area below the center storage where you can put some towels or whatever you want uh, to clean up your uh, messes and stuff, or just to make it look nice. I really like this kitchen. Let's pan to the right and look at the residential refrigerator with a stainless steel finish. And let's pan up further and see that max air fan. And of course the lighting you know, system for the center island area. And it has this inlay that matches the backsplash. Very nice, very classy. Let's check out the refrigerator, the residential refrigerator. Of course this is the refrigeration section up here. Then it has a middle section and then a bottom freezer section. I don't know what that middle section does. Might be able to uh, alternate between uh, freezing or uh, refrigeration and you have some certain controls. Maybe not. Who knows, it might just be another extension of the refrigeration or the freezer. Oops, I hanged down to the, the handle uh, for the uh, middle section. I apologize. I did replace it. I put it back after I did the, ended my video. So let's go check out the uh, ovens and the uh, cooking area. Let me open this door up. Of course, you can't see back there because uh, what am I using? A cheapo action camera. This is a Insignia oven. There's the oven opened up. It should be able to cook a turkey in there. Anything nice and large, no problem. Pot roast. Some of your controls for your light and your alternating current, and that's that backsplash back there. You can see it. Of course, the lighter wood comes, uh, pops out quite uh, nicely for my camera. And my camera goes, thank you very much for showing me something that's a uh, lighter wood. I appreciate it. So you can put your, uh, you know, your uh, salt and pepper back there, your various spices, condiments, etc. And this is a convection microwave. Very nice. So you have an oven and a convection microwave. Very nice. Another slide out pantry. Up here you can uh, put a, another electro, you know, all the electronics because it has some plugs up there. It has some controls. So that's nice. You can put some odds and ends up there. Another AC receptacle in this backsplash that matches uh, you know, the inlay above the uh, center island in front of the light sconces area. What do you think of that back uh, area that was uh, that uh, paneling back there? I like it. That little work here. It's pretty dark in these, you know. You never know what you're going to find inside here. Oh my God. It's amazing. Again, this is my camera does not do very well in the dark. This is a little garbage area. You can throw your garbage in there. It's nice. It's. Uh, you can take out the garbage. It doesn't make a big mess. Some of these units have like a channel before it goes to the garbage and that's not a good. It collects all that garbage uh, in the channel before you get there. This is where you can put your silverware or your stainless steel ware. They sanded the tops and also added a little coating, which is very nice. They added a little uh, finish. That's appreciated. More storage back here. Plywood box drawers, solid wood fronts, all metal uh, roller glides. And they even uh, sand the, uh, you know, the plywood and add a little glaze on there. That's very nice. First time I've seen that. It does not have, uh, you know, dovetail joinery or soft clothes. I noticed in the uh, literature it said it's had soft clothes, but I didn't see any soft clothes on these. I just, they, they didn't soft clothes. Now we're going to put some uh, towels and Let's take a quick peek before we do a larger peek later on of the uh, lounge area. I love this lounge area. I can watch my sports, my news, watch my programs, watch some videos. A plus. I really, really love it. And the chairs are absolutely magnificent. Let's uh, head towards the bedroom, but first we're going to pan down to the left and take a peek at the fuse box. Yes, that's where the fuse box is. So in case anything goes wrong, you know where it's at. It's right there to the left. And of course you have more pantry area. This uh, unit has quite a bit of storage outside and inside. And to the left is the dining area. I'll come back to that after the bedroom and the bathroom. So what do you think of the storage? Please leave your friendly and kind comments uh, below the description. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to share this video. Thank you very much. Nice, Florian. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, drawers. 
a closet on the left, a closet on the right, a TV above, and a nice, nice window to the outside world so you know where you're at. And of course, a little sh top area where you can put some, uh, lay some items. These are rather shallow drawers, not too uh, extensive, but you can put some stuff in there, can't you? Your underwear, your pajamas. It's very nice. And again, what do you think of these dark woods uh, for the uh, fronts? I, some people will like them. Of course, they do offer a lighter wood option. A salesman at uh, Explore USA RV Super Center said to me, you can get in light wood, you can get in dark wood, you can get different options. That slides out so you can put your garments. Let me close this up. Let me show you another view of the unit. That's again, those eight drawers, uh, two closets, the TV, and uh, the window in that little area on top where you can lay some odds and ends. And that's that 39-inch television. That's a good size for the bedroom. I like it. There's some controls uh, for the lights, and of course, they have that dimmer switch. You have to slide your finger. There's no actual switch. Actually, just, you know, you have to slide it, your finger delicately across it. They have a little table on each side, and uh, USB and uh, various controls for lights. And uh, below that, they have the alternating current. And they give you this uh, brown, beige, white, you know, bed cover, pillows, and uh, various odds and ends. Let me go to the other side and show you some of the controls. Nice, nice uh, wainscoting. I think that's called wainscoting, the darker wood below. Again, USB, light controls, et cetera, et cetera. That little table, and below the table is the alternating current. You have a nice mirror there, so you can check yourself out in the morning and say, Hey, I look f really nice. I really, really nice. I look awesome. Or in my case, oh, that's very disappointing. Hideous. To the left is the uh, where you can put your uh, stackable uh, washer and dryer, or you can put a you know all-in-one unit. Those aren't very good. They always have poor ratings, but the stackable units are always... Uh, doing good. That's a, you know, water supply and the alternating current, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Or you can use it as a closet. It does, they include a, you know, a bar there so you can hang your items. So you have choices. Not everybody wants to be uh, washing and drying their clothes at the resort. Some people like to go hang out with the rest of the folks at the, in the uh, area where they have the washers and dryers. A nice uh, shower surround, uh, sort of matches the one in the kitchen, the, the tile in the kitchen. And uh, there's the uh, controls, and of course the uh, shower uh, wand goes up and down according to your height. So if you're short, no problem. If you're gigantic, no problem again. And this can hold a gigantic person. There's a little bench, so you can just uh, shave your legs, uh, boys and girls. Or you can uh, just, uh, if you have uh, mobility issues, you can just sit there and take a shower. It has a porcelain foot flush toilet. That's always appreciated. Porcelain foot flush, f let me say it again. Porcelain foot flush toilets are better than plastic. It's a little storage area where you can put some odds and ends. Uh, your towels, your linens, or you can just uh, hang your clothes if you want. There's an area below where you can put your shoes or other boxes or other storage. You'll have to make those decisions uh, between you and your partner or by yourself or your family members or your choices. Uh, it's nice that you have so much storage in this unit. You have two types of roller blinds, one that just uh, lightens, uh, keeps things the sun out a little bit, and one that's for privacy. It'll just keep everything out. People can't peer inside and say, Who, what are they up to? What do you think of those valances, uh, the window valances and the window trim? I do like it. You have two uh, faucet areas, uh, two uh, sink areas. It's nice that they have faucets and sinks in combination. That's always good, huh? <laughs> you can control your lights and also the Max Air fan back there. Uh, I like this uh, design. I really do. I'm playing with the lights, of course, because I can. There's the alternating current and there's the controls again. For the Max Air fan, so you have plenty of uh, alternating current, so you won't be fighting uh, between each other. Going, hey, I, I need to access that that uh, alternating current so I can achieve. 
And there's the Max Air fan. Always appreciate it. And there's the uh, skylight keeping things nice and bright inside. There's a ducted air conditioning and heating. And of course, let's all go head out and check out uh, over here in the kitchen to the right, the dining area, the little dining table. Of course, you can always uh, sit there in front of the TV. You know, you know, wherever you want. But this is a traditional little dining area. It has a little leaf that you can extend this and add. A, and they have a couple chairs in, near the bedroom that you can add. Have four people sit here. And uh, if you want, you have company, you can all hang out. Or if you're taking four people on this trip, you know, fantastic little center area for a conversation or playing card games, whatever. Let me pull out that little leaf for you. At least partially out, just to show you what it looks like. Nice solid wood. And this is an area where you can charge certain types of phones. I don't have that kind of phone. I guess I'm going to have to buy a new phone. There's some alternating current connections, USB connections, uh, etc. And uh, close up of the uh, chairs. To the right is the exit, to the left is the kitchen area. And what do you think of this uh, dark wood pattern uh, for the center island? And also, what do you think of these fantastic, I'm just saying, fantastic countertops? I really like them. Let's head to the uh, business area of this uh, fifth wheel, the entertainment area, the hangout area, where I'm going to be sitting 99.999% of the time watching sports, the news, movies, etc. Not even going outside. I never go outside. And there's the big TV. A gigantic TV it even looks nice. The, the surround, uh, the surrounding area around the TV looks nice. That fireplace looks nice. Everything looks nice. To the right, you have uh, three windows, plenty of lighting on those days, and of course, you can drop down those blinds to keep things nice and dark. Leather chairs, from what I can tell. Of course, you can contact the dealership and ask them, are those leather chairs? And you get another three windows over here, so you have plenty of uh, illumination. And I really love those uh, sofas. They, they convert also to beds. And this is where the kings and the queens of the manor uh, sit. They have nice little areas here. They have various controls. I like these chairs. They have a perfect view of the television. You're not going to get rid of me. I'm going to sit there forever <laughs> just to have my beverages, have some chow, and just watch some TV. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is a nice unit. What do you think of this unit? There's some controls for the lights and the USB connections, of course. And it has some very nice wood valances on the uh, windows and window treatments. I really like it. None of those cheapo pleated shades and a nice uh, design. It's beautifully executed. Some storage here. You can put some items back here. My wife would probably put her knitting back there. And uh, I like those sofas. What do you think? Do you like these sofas? Again, they're nice color. They sort of match. They have the darks, the lights. Uh, I really like. I felt it. It felt. It felt like leather. Uh, I, again, like I told you earlier, I recommended earlier. Uh, contact your dealership to get more information about this unit. Here's a tight shot of the background, uh, the back uh, wall there, and. Uh, this is an LG TV. This is a big TV, and it's a high-quality TV. They didn't give us some cheap TV that you never heard of. This is a good, good TV. I, I, I'm sort of a, just a sitting here and looking at this. I'm really enjoying it. Fantastic. I love it. I want one, except I need a bigger truck. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And ring the bell for future notifications. This has been the 2020 Redwood 3951 uh, WB fifth wheel, a very nice and luxurious fifth wheel. This is Eclectic RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Thanks for watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.